The University of Wisconsin Milwaukee Panthers back at home at Panther Arena, their last home game before the New Year's to take on the South Dakota Coyotes. Milwaukee would dig themselves in a hole in the first half. Coyotes guard Casey Kassenbauer gets the Milwaukee defender off his feet for the nice up and under and then banks it off the glass. But the Panthers would claw themselves back into this game. Austin Aries makes the nice pass out of the double team and hits Akeem Springs who nails the tray. In the second half, Jordan Johnson drives to the basket. He gets the shot off, but the shot clock horn goes off. Akeem Springs is there for the rebound. He goes up strong. What would have been the game-winning shot will be no good because of an inadvertent whistle. In overtime, Milwaukee down two. When Austin Aries is back again, he drills the tray. And now the Panthers take a one-point lead. This scrappy South Dakota team came to play from the start. Casey takes the pass, three dribbles, and pulls up for the tray. Now South Dakota's up by two. This game will go to a second overtime, and this layup and foul by Matt Tybee gives Milwaukee a one-point lead, but it will also give Tybee 1,000 career points. Matt had 27 points and 16 rebounds on the night. It's crunch time, and Trey Norris will leave Milwaukee with a bad taste in their mouth. With this layup, South Dakota pulls off the upset and stuns Milwaukee 92-91. to Obviously, this is a tough one to swallow. I mean, I just got to be honest. But first, before I say any of that, I mean, you got to give a lot of credit to South Dakota. They came in here from the beginning and really established their game, their tempo, their style. Um, frustrated us. We were never able to use our size to our advantage. Rather, they use their small, their smalls to their advantage. 